Hi everybody, welcome back to Darling Borough Model Railway. My name is Richard. At the end of the last video, I left the shed in a bit of a mess. Yeah, I suppose about tidy that up, really. I have decided to put down some roofing felt underneath the track um, before I lay it. The main reason for this is purely for aesthetic reasons. I also think that it would be easier to um, apply ballast on top of the roofing felt rather than on top of the blue foam. Basically what I wanted to do was get the blue foam matting down first onto uh, the rest of the workbench and then roofing felt. I haven't got enough roofing felt for um, the whole board so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on where the track is because that's basically the priority really. I'm using that as kind of like an underlay before I put the ballast down so it would be really kind of wherever um, the track will be. Okay, well, it's already been 24 hours um, and I've just taken the uh, boards off just to check, but the glue is still wet. Unfortunately, I think it's going to take a few days for it to actually dry. So I'm um, basically, I'm just going to have to leave it for a few days and uh, obviously let it set. And uh, hopefully with the warmth in the shed during the day, it will dry nice and quickly and nice and solid. It would be nice and interesting to know if anyone else has actually used roofing felt um, as a basis for underneath their track, not necessarily just as ballast, but you know, sort of uh, a layer that they can put ballast and stuff on top of. Um, if you have, by all means, leave me a message. Um, all the uh, contact details are up there. Um, so what I'll be doing next is obviously once the uh, the roofing felt has dried, um, I'm going to be getting the actual track down. What I'm planning on doing once I get the track down is actually to start building some scenery. The thing is, I don't know where I want to start building the scenery. I've got three options. Um, in this corner here, um, obviously I'm planning on having like basically a tunnel um, for a, a sort of large mountain. Um, it's gonna be kind of quite nice and green at the top, um, but there will be rocks sort of sticking out of it. Maybe some trees at the top, that sort of thing. Obviously I have the industrial area to consider as well, which will be more artificial um, kind of area. Um, obviously there'll be buildings, there'll be kind of like fences, um, lighting, that sort of thing, and this will be in this sort of area here. 
And then of course this area here where I'll be working on the shunting yard. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that, so I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But um, I'm not sure what elements I should be working on first. Um, it would be interesting to know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see me working on the industrial area, the, the sort of mountainous hill, um, or do you want me to start working on the shunting yard? Um, please leave a comment um, in down below, just sort of quick comments to say where you would like to see me uh, sort of starting to work on the scenery. What I will be doing is I will be looking into different ways in which scenery can actually be produced. So rather than just firing into it, um, I'll be looking at sort of various techniques and stuff that I'll be using um, when I do the scenery as well. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, keep watching. Obviously, I will be bringing you videos every Friday. So uh, until next week, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos. Ha, ha, ha.